Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. On the gold market situation right now is really uh, interesting and uh, probably we could say that it's uh, really tricky because the action that we have seen yesterday uh, opened the door for possible deeper retracement to the upside. Now I will explain why it's really possible. Uh, it's uh, of course not the fact that this will happen uh, mostly if market will drop lower and taken out of this recent 1075 lows that has been formed yesterday. But if these lows will hold for some time, this market really could show the upper retracement. Its retracement uh, could be deep and market finally could reach the weekly pivot point uh, that we have specified. Of course, probably it will be not on the right uh, on the current week since today is Friday already, but uh, on the next week this is possible. Uh, why this retracement? could happen. On the daily chart guys, uh, market has accomplished our short term analysis yesterday. So we said that this market really looks heavy and it's more probable that market prob probably will show the drop down rather than deep retracement to the upside. And this really has happened. But take a look what the shape market has taken with this drop. Till that, this moment it was perfect. So it was black candle, nasty candle to the downside and bearers were happy and really put the uh, extended hopes that really will continue with that lower. But what has happened by the end of the session? Market returns right back up. In fact guys, we see nothing more but the washing rings of the stops and lows that has created on the previous former rock hard support consolidation. So this was really very strong support. That was 1618 extension target, bar of line 1618 target. So as we recall we have discussed this. Um, and some stops probably were accumulated below this area. Take a look, market has pierced this area. Wash and rinse this loss and taking grab the stops that have been placed here. And return right back up. Now this major question is uh, if this was really just a stop grabbing action, stop hunting action, market probably will show the upward retracement. It's very typical for the wash and rinse action. So it's when the market forms the wash and rinse, the chance when some minor bounce uh, will increase. This market could turn to retracement. Uh, the only moment that could probably destroy this setup if market will continue to press down and taking out of this loss. If this will happen, this will just tell us that uh, gold market right now uh, is just is bearish, strongly bearish, and it has the intention to hold below this loss and it's really driving lower. So now, right now, we are we should watch what will happen on the intraday charts. But uh, theoretically, some patterns could be formed, and market really could form this retracement. But guys, we will be uh, happy in both waves. Uh, so if market will show retracement up, we will get our desirable brain butter sell and we'll be absolutely happy because we will get the chance for taking the short position. If market will drop lower and will hold below the 1075, 1080 lows, that will be another uh, advantage for us because in this case we will get the real confirmation that market is bearish since we know that the gold is not ever sold anymore we will be able to take the short position on the minor bounce. That's why the both waves uh, both ways are uh, acceptable for us. Uh, now let's take a look on the intraday charts. On the hourly chart here is the action that we have specified. First of all, guys, I would like to remember, remind you our bearish dynamic pressure that we have discussed yesterday and we said that probably drop is possible. So that has happened. This minor bearish pressure has been completed because it has taken out of these lows, created the new lows and uh, that uh, stands as the minimum target for dynamic pressure. But it, it, this pattern also uh, doesn't forbid market to continue move lower. That's also possible. 
right now we should play out these uh, tricks around the stops and as I said uh, if market will drop below these areas also will get us confirmation that uh, short term reaction on the stop grabbing has been completed market turns again to the bearish tendency but uh, meantime uh, take a look at the hourly chart recall our consolidation here yesterday when the market was has failed to continue move higher here we said that probably drop lower is possible from the technical point of view market has completed the target of this consolidation so if you will measure the width of this channel counted to the downside you will get approximately the same uh, this area so the the target of the breakout of this uh, pattern has been completed that's the first moment second moment if you will measure the extension of this most recent sync you will see that except this spike down for the grabbers market mostly holds with the 1618 extension that could become the uh, precedent for f forming of the head and shoulders pattern here so that could be the left shoulder this could be the head if market will return back inside of this consolidation then it could put the foundation for forming of the left or the right shoulder with this possible fluctuation in this same range but to the right side of this V bottom and this could be some kind of the um, head and shoulders pattern so if it will be formed in this case guys you could count on the deep retracement and we could count on the possible burn by the cell because in this case we probably will get something of that sort this will be the, the shoulder if we will count it to the upside, so it will be approximately 10 or 7 area, 10 or 5, slightly lower than the FIB level. So the market could show retracement right to this area. So the weekly pivot point, this will be probably sufficient for a possible brain by the cell. So uh, this will be what we will be watching for the next week. That's really, really interesting. And market will fail here, return back inside on this consolidation, turn down again taken out of these lows. This will be confirmation that market is really bearish and it is already has turned down to the bearish continuation. For any kind of the action we have the trading plan. So retracement we will take short on the brain body. Breakout to the downside we will take short on some minor retracement. Uh, that probably will happen after market will turn. I will move below 1075, 1070 area. But the overall situation as you can see on the gold is really interesting.